Hi darlings, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. It's going to be a bit of an unplanned video. Yesterday I went to the King's Road to go and get a patch test for my upcoming hair colour appointment and I walked past Zara on Duke of York Square and if you're familiar with London and that particular part of London you will probably agree with me that that Zara is the best Zara in terms of merchandise, in terms of store layout, in terms of size avail availability and even staff friendliness and staff helpfulness. I just find that that Zara, Zara store in-store experience literally trumps every other Zara that I've ever been to. If you come to London then I would just highly recommend visiting that store. Other Zara stores I find the staff can be a little bit rude and unhelpful but this one I only ever have positive things to say. I was literally planning on going to the hairdressers and going back home again and putting my blinkers on but I saw the most beautiful pink dress on the mannequin just as you look into the store and it drew me in like a little magpie. So that dress I do have in this bag is to blame for this haul. I actually found some stunning pieces in Zara and I'm going to share them with you in today's video. I'll do my best to try and find any of these pieces that I can online in case you prefer shopping Zara online but generally I just prefer to shop in stores. I'll also leave linked down below everything that I'm wearing, this is not Zara, um, my jewellery and things like that. And the only thing to say before we get started is if you are new here then hello and welcome to my channel. I do so many different styling, haul videos, trend videos and things like that and I'd love it if you consider subscribing and if you do then please don't forget to turn on the little notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So a few of these things I actually bought as entire outfits as well as single pieces if that makes sense. One thing that I love about this store as I mentioned is the way that they merchandise the products and they really do encourage you to buy more than one thing. I know that that's something that I was targeted with when I used to work at Reese. So Zara, Duke of York Square, visual merchandising team, you've done a fantastic job. So the first little outfit that I bought for that reason is this very crazy colourful pair of shorts. These look really big but they are are actually an extra small so they're definitely an oversized design they're kind of like a colorful almost Bermuda style short I imagine these with a crop top and a belt that cinches in the waist is a real kind of 80s vintage holiday look so I think that'll look fantastic with like a little retro headscarf on and it was merchandised with this blouse. I have to say, if I saw the blouse separately, I'd have been like, I don't need that in my wardrobe, but it just looked so cute with the shorts. It's a really lovely practical holiday top. It's got this um, seersucker, pretty much the whole thing is seersucker, so it's really stretchy, which means it's incredibly comfortable. Really lightweight fabric, so if you live or work or you're traveling to a really warm destination, then this is gonna be lovely at not clinging to the body. If you watched my video on how to look chic in a heat wave or how to look chic in the heat, you'll know that I recommended lightweight fabrics and materials that don't stick to the body. So this, for example, would not be a particularly good thing to wear in a heat wave, even though it is really lightweight material, it's actually clinging to the body which just makes you a little bit more hot so loose breezy things like this I think are absolutely perfect I love the frill details and I just love that it's so stretchy and going back to the shorts I just I'm smitten with these they've got like pin tuck detail they've got pleats and they have got very large roomy pockets which is all important when looking for shorts and trousers and skirts and things like that Next up is something which is a little bit more predictably me, I would say, and it is this really sweet little floral blouse. I initially looked at this and actually thought it was a little bit vulgar because the material is shiny. If I could change one thing about this, it would be the fact that the material is shiny, but then I actually walked away from it and then I kept thinking about it and I thought, you know what, I think I can style that in such a cute way and I think it'll work really well with my wardrobe. I love florals, I love beige, I love light colours and I love pink and this just ticks so many of those boxes. If you saw my recent premium uh, Love Shack Fancy Zimmerman self-portrait unboxing from Selfridges and Netta Porter, then you'll have heard me basically confessing my love for the brand Love Shack Fancy and I I feel like this has very much those kind of vibes but without oh my god I've just noticed that there is like blood or chocolate on here or is that part of the design <laughs> no I think it's part of the design oh my goodness it definitely is do you see these little um dark patches here that looks like if you cut yourself in a really small way and it bleeds through the fabric but then they are actually everywhere panic averted but what a strange kind of color and shape it definitely looks like you're just bleeding inside your top 
Where was I? This reminds me of those romantic kind of bohemian vibes of brands like Love Shack Fancy and I love that look so I think paired with some floaty white trousers this is just going to be a beautiful top for late summer afternoons, late summer holidays, things like that. It was £25.99 so nice and affordable and despite the fact that it was so affordable the details are really lovely for example the buttons these are actually to run down at the back are like a pearl effect which is really beautiful and then you've got this little tie to cinch it in around the waist so I think this is going to be really flattering and just a very pretty little blouse to add to my collection. Next up is a dress and this one I'm not 100% sure about so as always I would love your opinions on whether it's a keeper or a returner. I absolutely love the fabric on this one. It does remind me of the kind of fabric you might see on brands like Tula Rosa, on Revolve, things like that. I need to probably pay 10 times the price for something like this from those websites. It's got ruche detail which I always find really flattering around the edges. It's quite short, it reminds me of something you might wear in Cuba or Ibiza, somewhere really fun like that. It's got the puff sleeve, if you watched my 10 trends for autumn winter 2019 you'll know that puff sleeves are just going to get even bigger next season so it's already a nod to that trend. And then a lovely fun bow on the sleeve as well which I think gives it another vintage vacation kind of 90s nod to the look so lots of reasons why I love this. A really fun holiday dress and I don't think this kind of style ever really goes out of fashion so something that I'll be wearing year after year. I'm going to break up the clothing with some accessories. I think that Zara accessories are so good at getting the luxury look for less. I have a few of these things um, in far more expensive versions and I know the designers have expensive versions of others. So for example the pearl headband trend. On Net-A-Porter you can find pearl headbands for hundreds of pounds which I think is absolutely bonkers. This one which has pearls which are like big small big small as you can see here. This was 9 99 and it's such a lovely practical way of keeping your hair off your face but also just a lovely way of accessorising what could otherwise be a really plain outfit. If you're feeling a little bit more bold, this one was $15.99. It's a whole lot chunkier, it's a little bit of a uh, kind of Gossip Girl vibe. As you can see, little pearls going all the way across the padded headband. I absolutely loved the padded headband trend that we saw in early summer and spring as well, and this just perfectly matches those two trends. And I think this is going to be quite comfortable as well. In fact, I might even wear it today with this dress. Then we have a stunning pair of pearl earrings. These, you could honestly tell me that they are designer and they they cost £300 because I do see very similar earrings to this in designer stores. It says they are real pearl which blows my mind because they were £15.99. They are the most gorgeous shape. I mean they're not going to be gold plated or anything I highly doubt but I think for holidays and even just for jazzing up a plain outfit I always say the most chic outfit for me is like a cream jumper, cream trousers, some nice boots and a pair of pearl earrings I think is such a beautiful classic look so I just absolutely could not walk away from these for $15.99. I think that is absolutely mad. Next up is something a little bit different for me but I just thought it would be an incredibly practical thing to have in my wardrobe and it is this jumpsuit. The reason why I love it is actually the material. I'm gonna try to show you a close-up but basically it's like that kind of slightly elasticated material which is really tightly pleated so it's very comfortable. It just fits to the body absolutely perfectly. This was $25.99. It's got a low V. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too low and then a waist belt to cinch you in in the middle. Charlie and I are going to Cambodia in just over a week's time and I thought this would be fantastic for those days when we're traveling and also when we need to be a little bit more covered up. I thought this could be a great thing for exploring temples, things like that because my shoulders and my knees are going to be covered so it's a bit more respectful. At the same time it's really light so if it's a little bit humid then I'm not going to feel too close and hot and sweaty. And what also makes this great for traveling is that this material does not crease so I can pack this in my suitcase and not have to worry about ironing it or steaming it when I get to the other side because it's totally crease resistant so if we have any days when we're going to be on a minibus for a long time or even when we fly from Cambodia to Laos then this is going to be a really great item for those traveling occasions as well thanks to the fact that it doesn't crease and it's going to be super comfortable. Next is the dress that drew me into the store on the mannequin and I have to say it looked a lot better on the mannequin than it does on a hanger so hopefully you'll be able to get a better vibe of how this dress actually looks in the try on clips 
but I mean you can see why I couldn't walk away from this. It's the most beautiful pink shade, it's got a cinched in waist, lovely lightweight material, it's got little cinched in um, elasticated sections on the sleeves, finishing off with a little frill, you've got a bow around the neckline, it's a midi length, it's got ruffles and frills down at the bottom. It is literally me in a dress and this is the kind of thing that I think you can wear to a late summer wedding. I love the fact that it's long sleeved, it just covers you up a little bit more but it's still so floaty and feminine and romantic. Price wise it was $49.99 so kind of middle of the range for Zara and I think this paired with some sandals, perhaps my Prada basket bag, is going to be such a spectacular look. Something else which is not going to look particularly special on the hanger but hopefully will look great in the try on clips is this little blouse crop top. So this is across the bodice here and then the sleeves are very voluminous puffy sleeves um, which again finish up here. So there's nothing along your top of your shoulders or your neckline which I think is fantastic if you have caught a bit of a tan, if you've put some body shimmer on your neck area, I think it's a beautiful look. And it's a little bit cropped as well. I think I'll also style these with the Bermuda shorts that I showed you earlier. But I think this will also go with things like jeans or high-waisted white trousers, high-waisted skirts. I actually think that despite the fact that this is quite a statement top, it is going to be a bit of a classic. I think it's going to go with so many things. Because of its neutral colour, it should work with most of the bottoms in my wardrobe. And it just adds a little bit of a fun romantic edge to what could otherwise be quite a plain outfit. Another accessory, I picked up these earrings because they really reminded me of a pair that I have from a brand called Chan Lu from Netta Porter and I absolutely love them, they are basically lots of different hanging pearl discs. These have that same kind of disc at the top but then a little chain and then like a darker almost antique style um, tinted pearl here. Once again it says they are real pearl but they were $15.99. I cannot believe it. If you are trying to get that luxury look for less then honestly Zara jewellery at the moment is just absolutely smashing it. And lastly another outfit which on the mannequin drew me in and otherwise I probably would not have picked up. Stupidly I have bought the top in a large which is a few sizes too big for me but I will show it to you anyway. So it is this lovely little blouse. It's got almost like Oh, the detail on this is stunning. So the fabric is almost like a silky fabric with these flowers on it which just give it almost like a Victorian look. It's absolutely stunning with the puffy sleeves and then the little peplum detail. I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous with this skirt, which is not very me, but again for Cambodia I thought it was a really nice style. This elasticated waistband and then it goes down into almost like a, not sure what you would call this, but like a tiered skirt. Really lightweight material, so fantastic for warmer or humid countries. And I think the natural colours of this will work really well in the Cambodian surroundings. So these two paired together, although I do need to swap the top, are the final outfit that I picked up from Zara. So that's everything that I picked up from Zara. I hope you enjoyed looking through these pieces with me and maybe it's inspired you to take a little trip there as well or if you already picked up some of these pieces it would not surprise me. Hopefully I might have given you some ideas on styling. So darlings I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!